Good morning and welcome to the next day of Vlogmas. So if you watched my last video, I ended up finishing two hats, kid size hats I was working on. So this morning I got started and made a pom pom for each of them. So this is the first one and I did make them so they could have a folded brim. And I ended up using the yarn from, um, that I made the hat with rather than another kind of pom pom. So those are finished up. They both need to get kind of cleaned off because they have little specks, but those are looking pretty good so far. I also thought with some of this soft yarn, I would make some scrunchies. And I made my first attempt this morning and ended up a little too big. So I'm using a smaller elastic for the next go around. Shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor. When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more. There's raindrops on my window, and I'm going nowhere fast. Behind these closed eyes, I visualize what will come and what is past. But Mama, turn the light on. Mama, stir me from my sleep. I've been sleeping too long. I've been dreaming too long. I just want to lie here But I don't want to die here So I'm gonna take my best shot Shot out of bed into the tip top Sitting on the edge of my bed Waiting by the river, waiting by the river I found a little piece of homestead So it's now much later in the day, all of my people are sleeping and I'm going to jump into painting my drop spindle. I have not done much drop spindling at all lately, really since I got my spinning wheel. I've done a little bit but not too much um, and my dad had made me three cute little drop spindles and I've been wanting to paint at least one of them. So I'm going to do this largest one and yeah, just kind of see what I come up with. You saw earlier I was dyeing some fiber and I went with um, rainbow colors, which for some reason, I don't think I've ever dyed rainbow colors before, but I made it in short repeats. So I'm hoping to be able to kind of do a full repeat spun up on my spindle. This is my heaviest spindle. Um, and I don't know, I know last time when I, I kind of preferred one of the lighter ones, but I think maybe now that I've done a lot more spinning, maybe I won't mind so much, but I'm not sure which one I will end up using. I'll probably try out a few of them and see kind of where I'm at now since it's been so long. Um, but I'm going to start by giving this one a little bit of a paint job. Well, it's not the most beautiful thing ever, but this is where I'm at right now. And yeah, I think it's going to work for now. I'm going to let it dry and then I just pulled out the Varathane to put a clear coat on and I am considering adding in some silver glitter, but that's to be determined yet. We'll see how, how I'm feeling when the time comes. out of this now sealed plastic bag, saran wrap, but then melted, 
and I'm going to give it a good rinse and let it dry. actually impressed that there's so little dye bleeding when I'm only doing one thing one time I sometimes could, and I'm guesstimating I'm not measuring clearly I worry that I'm getting way too much dye or maybe not enough and maybe this will still fade but so far I think we're looking pretty good I'm gonna let this sit and give it a few more rinses Sit and listen to you talk Ignore the time and throw away the clock I'd love to hear each thought upon your mind Good morning, it's now Sunday morning. Things are looking a little bit more Christmassy around here and we've got a church Christmas concert. I've been working on a lot of little things but haven't been filming too much as I go. So I thought I'd show you what all I have been making this weekend now. So I have been working on some Barbie accessories. These ones here were the first that I was working on and they're going to be a gift. Well, they're all going to be gifts, but these will be for one of my nieces and they come with just a few babies and we have the set of babies and none of them have clothes. So I made a little cape and a blanket for this baby. This little baby has just a little, kind of like a vest. Um, and this is another little blanket, but um, pouch style, so you can kind of be tucked in there. So I made those little ones. And then if you saw my previous vlog about the dollhouse I have been working on, I have it mostly assembled now and I'm working on a few little finishing touches, you could say. I have a little rug and this would be like one of those little poofs that you could sit in the corner. And actually on the back of the dollhouse, there's a few places where there's one pictured, but it didn't come with any. So I thought I'd just make those up. This is using kind of the last of that Bernat yarn, which so now you've seen me make so many things out of it. Um, it's pretty much gone. So that's that set. I also went ahead and made a little Barbie sweater. This does still need buttons, um, and it's made out of a little bit of, what is it? Oh, it's the wool-like in a beigey color, I forget what it's called. But anyways, got that done. I tried to make a little bit oversized so it will fit a variety of Barbies. And then within the dollhouse, it came with a bed and a couch, um, but they're pretty kind of bland looking. So for this bed, I have a little pillow, it's very soft, and actually when this fabric um, was given to me, my daughter requested something with it, and I wasn't sure what to make. So now there's a Barbie house things. There's a pillow, there is a blanket here, a sewn one, and then also the knitted one. So I was thinking that would be for the bed, but also because the dollhouse just comes with one bed, and I thought maybe for multiple Barbies, it would be nice to have blankets so they could maybe like lay on the floor or whatever. And then I also have just, I thought this could be a little rug. Um, it's so furry, or I mean be used as whatever else, but that could go in there. I have a little square pillow and a, just a blanket kind of made out of that soft fabric. I just sewed a flower on it, very basic. Again, thinking it could be extra bedding for the bed or I don't know, it seems like everybody likes to get tucked in. So thought a few of those accessories might be kind of nice. And then with the couch, this hasn't, um, not ever, all of it's been finished yet, but I made a little like couch blanket, I guess, using little bits of leftover yarn. And then this piece here, which is going to become a little pillow. I'm just gonna sew the sides in and stuff it and it'll be a little pillow to go on the couch as well. 
So that's really all the little pieces that have been coming together. It's been really fun uh, just to use little odds and ends and come up with a variety of different supplies and I think it'll be fun to have those in the dollhouse when it's gifted. But anyways, that is all from me. I think this is going to be my last Vlogmas video and I'll just continue on with the main channel videos here. But thank you so much for watching. If you've missed any and want to catch up, I'll make sure to link the playlist. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Cause all the shit